I'll be showing you how I built my very own wood-fired oven to make delicious homemade pizzas and other meals. I did extensive research before starting the build to acquire the proper materials like the proper fire bricks and equipment. First off, I created a metal frame for the oven. This would serve as the base for the insulation. Next, I added the insulation layer using Perlite and Portland cement. Make sure to wear the proper equipment when working on your own oven. While the insulation was curing, I started laying my bricks on another table. I chose the herringbone pattern. After reading multiple posts online that it was really the best way to position the bricks in order for the pizza peel to work properly. I placed the sand on top of the insulation and leveled it out. This helped to create a stable base for the floor bricks. I carefully selected and inspected the bricks that would be used for the floor. These bricks were chosen for their shape and overall quality to ensure that they would fit well and would provide a flat surface. I then placed the bricks and marked the circle that they needed to be cut. The bricks were not binded to the insulation, allowing for easy replacement of the floor bricks in case of any breaks or damage over time. It's important to keep the bricks wet when cutting them. This really reduces the dust. Also, when you put them in water, they sound like hundreds of baby chickens. Since the bricks are porous, they absorb the moisture from the mortar, keep them wet when working. When laying bricks, it's important to stagger the joints. This will provide a stronger and more stable structure for your oven. Additionally, using the indispensable tool, whether it's homemade or purchased, will assist you in laying the bricks in a perfect circle and dome. As you can see here, at a certain point, I didn't stagger the joints properly. I hadn't noticed the mistake right away. However, I was able to correct it by using a smaller brick to space out my joints. This is a reminder that building an oven is a process that requires patience and attention to detail. This was the first time that I was working with bricks. Also, I was limited with the time available and did this from 9 p.m. to midnight for about a full month. As I continued building the dome, I eventually encountered a problem. The angle of the bricks became too steep and they started to slide. I had to come up with a solution eventually. I decided to move the oven out of the garage and place it in its final spot. Since my tractor can only lift so much weight, in order to keep laying the bricks, I built a fake elevated floor and used sand to create the dome instead of cutting sticks and keeping each bricks in place like I saw in other videos. I had to cover it with a tent so I couldn't get any filming done outside. Eventually the weather was nice so I could continue my time lapse. When I completed the dome, I installed the ceramic fiber blanket. I didn't get a chance to record it. And then I did the exterior insulation which was the same as the base, so Portland cement and perlite. And then I added a layer of stucco. Once the arch was completed, I waited a few days for it to cure slowly. So then I started the full week of curing fires. I had to start off with a small fire and keep them small throughout the day. Here's our first pizza. It wasn't a perfect circle, but it was delicious. And so I just had to light it up the next day because it's just so much fun cooking in this oven. So here's our second pizza. Much more round and good looking and just as delicious. And it only takes 90 seconds to cook. With some leftover heat and fire, you can even roast your own coffee beans. The possibilities are endless with this oven. I hope this was helpful for anyone looking to build their own oven. All right, that's it for me. Please like and subscribe for more. Later.